Good morning learners and welcome to our tutorial today on Microsoft Access. In this video we are simply looking at how to create your database. So when you open up Microsoft Access, this is generally what you'll see. Remember I am working in Access 2016. So Access 2010 or other versions might uh, be slightly different just in terms of the way they look. So whether I click on home here or whether I go to new, you'll see I still have the option of blank database. When I click on it, this is what it brings me. And in, in Office 2010, I know generally they have the blank database here. And on the right hand side, they have these options. So what you need to be in mind is that in a Word document or Excel, uh, when you open a blank document, it opens and then you save it. OK, um, when it comes to Microsoft Access, you are actually uh, creating and saving this when you open it. OK, so it's it works in the sort of reverse manner. So here we have our blank database. We can give it a name. So let's just call it blank one. You can also over here um, on this button, you'll see we can browse for where we want it stored. Now, by default, it's going to go to do the my documents folder. Uh, you can save it somewhere else. So if we click there, you'll see that I can put it anywhere else. I can put it on my desktop or wherever I want it to go and it will change over here. So let's just say I'm going to send it to the desktop. That's the file name. That's the type. And I say OK. And there you'll see it will change. Now it even gives me the extension. Right. So I've created a name for it. I've said where it's going to be saved. And then I click on create. Now, I want you to take note of something. When I close this database, it is not going to ask me, do I want to save the changes? Because remember, what did I just do? I created a name, set it must save to the desktop. And when I click create, it automatically then creates it and saves it. So now when I close and I haven't made any changes, it will just close. So you'll see now I've created my first blank database it gives me a table called table one yeah it's open and it already populates it with a default field right called id and that is simply how we create a blank database i'm going to do it once more i go file new click on blank database i can name it something else we will say blank two save it to my documents and click create and there i have a blank database